Hey guys, it's Rob, Rob's Mindset, back for another thought-provoking five minutes, maybe four minutes, 50, we'll see. Okay, today, what's on the menu? I'd like to talk about thinking about getting things done, thinking, thinking versus actually taking action. (laughs) Here's my example. Okay, so I'm on the lookout to create some new opportunities. I've done a lot of thinking about it. I've spoken about it. I have even talked to people about it. However, the funny thing is, and this is hilarious because I caught myself literally 10 minutes ago saying this to myself, well, hang on a minute. What have I actually done? What action have I taken? What steps have I taken? Who have I who have I spoken with that could actually get me the result that I am looking for? And Guess what the answer was when I had this realization? Zero. So how the hell can I expect to make a change, generate the result I want, get this new thing activated when I haven't taken any viable action that is going to get me the actual result? It's just stupidity. And yet, my thinking, my thought process around this has been, well, it's going to get me something because I've started talking about it. I'm thinking about it a lot. Oh, I I did a bit of of research. There's nothing. Okay, so what am I going to do and what can we learn from this together? Because that's what it's all about, right? Learning together. Okay, well, for starters, I'm actually going to detail what it is that I want to achieve. I have found that through the conversations I've had, and it's been say three, maybe even four, it's just ridiculous. I have been analyzing my expectations through those conversations. So it has helped. However, I haven't written it down. And I'm a big believer in writing it down old school um, in a, a journal of sorts, and also popping it down onto some notes onto my Mac and that helps define the process. And also, I then use that as the stepping stones to plug in the action steps going forward. So I set the goal. Now, I also know what my end result is. So I will place that at the bottom of a page, of the page. So I'll identify my thinking around it. At the very bottom of the page, I will write the end goal That helps me visualize and reverse engineer the processes that I need to go through to get to that point. Uh, Does that make sense? So, the end result is I want to achieve X, Y, Z, all right? What do I think I need to do to get to X, Y, Z and what's the time frame? So, I have an idea of what I want to achieve, now I need to put in the action steps, the strategies around it and then the tactics. So they are the components that I will put down onto the page. And it will massively help actually getting the result I want rather than pissing around talking about it. Now let's put this into a context of study or uh, applying for a job with a business since you have graduated or putting into the plans putting into a plan the desire to start your own business, whether that's online or brick and mortar. All of these components that I've just mentioned then, they all start with this very, very basic one page plan. And you have to take action to get there. So the components at the very beginning of who do I need to call, who do I need to email, who do I need to reach out to once I've identified the, uh, the areas, I have to take that action. No one is going to take the action, or, is that right? Take the action? No one is going to do it for you, that's what I'm trying to say. Put the plan together, take the action, and you will see results, positive or negative. You will get feedback, you will get results, and you will know what to do next. And lo and behold, things will happen. So this has been a great realization for me, and it's worthwhile sharing. Rob from Rob's Mindset. Hope you've enjoyed it today. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Rob's Mindset. Peace out.